This video is to run you through an exercise. It provides no additional content, so you can skip this exercise if you like. However, you may be wondering if you agree with the previous conclusions about CSR and sustainability reporting, and this exercise can help you to make up your mind. The exercise itself should take no more than 20 to 30 minutes of your time, and this is how it works. First, pick a company that you know that you are interested in for whatever reason, be it positive or negative. You should have a solid understanding of the products and brands of this organization. Click on pause and take the time that you need to select the company of your choice. Only then continue. So, ready? Got your company? Now that you know which company to work on, use the internet to download their sustainability report. If they don't have one, then you have evidence that some companies have not yet even understood the problem and the pressure. In this case, you can note this as a first learning and pick a different company. Once you have the report on your screen, don't be scared by the volume of the report, which can easily be 100 or 150 pages. You will not be expected to read all of it. Your lead question is, is the company really sustainable? This can be broken down to, does the company address all important sustainability aspects in the report? Is the performance in these topics clear and understandable? Is the performance good? And are there clear and measurable commitments to improvements? Now, here are your more specific assignments to work on. Click pause in between while you check the report for your answer and write your findings down in bullet points. Assignment number one. Does the report explain what the really material, meaning important, sustainability aspects for the company are? Have these aspects been identified with the help of stakeholders or are they just the view of the company from the internal perspective? Are the aspects plausible to you buy in? If there are no material aspects mentioned, take the perspective of customers, NGOs like Greenpeace, employees, suppliers and other stakeholders and try to think of the most critical sustainability issues that these stakeholders will probably see. And then check, are they mentioned in the report? Click on pause, take your time to analyze, write it down. When you're done, you can continue. Moving on to assignment number two. For the three to five most important topics that you found, does the company clearly explain how it performs? Do you understand what they're telling you? Is it backed up by data and evidence? Again, take your time, click on pause, continue when you're done. Moving on to the last assignment, assignment number three. Is the performance of the company in the critical areas good? I mean, does it impress you? Is it above a sector average? Does the company help you to believe that it is really doing a good job? Take your time, click on pause, move on when you're done. Now that you've completed the three assignments, look at your notes. Do you believe that the company that issued the report is really operating in a sustainable manner, managing the biggest problems adequately? In case your answer is no, you're in good company. Based on 50 assessments of this type conducted in class, about 80% of the students rated the sustainability reports that they were looking at as greenwashing or at least as very marketing heavy. If you think about it, this isn't a surprise really as the performance data trends such as carbon emissions from industry indicate that there are only small improvements, if at all, in the critical sustainability issues. Clearly, this is not good enough to support the required transformation. In most cases, companies are simply not willing to touch the core of their business as they are afraid to risk their future. They are playing not to lose, as I explained in the earlier video about CSR. So, in the next videos, which will be added over time, we will have a deeper look into the competitive pressure to which companies are exposed. And I will talk about how sustainability can help companies to be more successful also commercially.